Ah, hello. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing a Lego Star Wars set. Uh, this is Obi Wan Kenobi's Jedi Starfighter, set number seven five three three three. Two hundred and eighty two pieces. Uh, I just bought it yesterday and built it not too long ago. So this is actually the old set that we are going to be comparing it to, and this is the new set. Uh, comes with three minifigures, R4, Obi-Wan, and my main, you know, my favorite, Tanwi, the only Kimonian that we have in Lego. So, I'm going to start off. This was $30, uh, pretty affordable. Um, it's pretty small, though. Um, comparing it to the older set, much smaller. Um, and just comparing the ship itself, um, it's about... I'd say three or four studs longer, um, but, you know, not a huge difference. Um, the older set also comes with this big Hyperloop, Hyperlink, Hyperloop? I forget what it's called, but, you know, the Hyper Ring that is used to transport quickly. Um, so, this set, uh, let's go over the main figures first. Um, this is the new one. This is the old R4. They're very similar. They're practically the same. Honestly, I was kind of hoping that they would have added back printing to the new R4 because they had back printing on the new R2-D2s in the Dagobah set and the trash compactor dioramas. I was really hoping they would add some back printing, but alas. Um... Next up, we have Obi-Wan, very, uh, very good looking, of course. Um, this one, on the other hand, has a headset, reversible head, and one without the headset for whenever he's flying, and it also comes with a hood that is interchangeable. So that's nice, actually, for displayability, depending on where you want the Lego minifigure. Tanwi, looking pretty snazzy, the neck piece, the head piece. It's all really good, and uh, the hips, uh, they look good. So I'd say overall this minifigure is uh, really what makes the set worth the $30 in my opinion. But if you say, you know, 10 bucks for per figure, that's not terrible, and the ship itself, so. Uh, but it, it is pretty small. It, it is, it has a few playability features. Number one, I'm going to stick this on my uh, shirt here. Okay, hopefully you can still hear me well enough. Uh, this one, it has a little rotatable piece for R4's head. Um, stud shooters. I don't like those, to be honest, but the old one has also stud shooters. They're just a little different. Um, this one has a disc. Or the, um, I don't know what you call it, the uh, little receiver for receiving and transmitting messages, whereas the old one does not have that. So that's, you know, that's something. Um, one thing I really liked, which the old one doesn't have, is this little head, you know, like a little headrest here for Obi Wan. I actually kind of thought that was pretty neat. Uh, one thing I also really liked, it has a little holder for the lightsaber for whenever. You know, he's flying. So that was a really neat little thing that they added. Whereas this one doesn't have that. I just have my minifigure hold the lightsaber. So I kind of like that one. Uh, one thing I like about this set versus the old one, the wings on the sides are completely stable. They will not move no matter how much you try. I mean, they'll move slightly, but, you know, to Lego standards, they don't move. Uh, whereas these on the old one, they, uh, they do kind of, they rotate a lot. I don't really like that. I kind of like the uh, the newer one in that regard. Um, but I do prefer the old one just because I'm old school. But also this right here really, you know, it's grabbable. It makes it whooshable. Uh, it's very nice. And uh, lots of stickers, which I don't like. I don't like stickers. I much prefer printable pieces. But, you know, it has shooters that you can do with your hand. It's really nice, really playable, um, and very, very good for display because this one, you know, it is its own stand, 
Whereas this one, it just kind of sits there. It would be nice if there was some sort of stand like, like this set right here. You know, it has its own little stand. It would be nice if Lego Star Wars would start coming out with more sets with stands other than just, you know, like UCS. So like, you know, something like that. Something like that would be nice. Um, just to make it a little more displayable. So, but yeah. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed. Uh, comment if you want to see any other sets that I have or any other sets that you, you know, are not sure if you want or not. And I can tell you if I thought it was worth it. And uh, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.